now turns to reaction from Florida Republicans to the news of Biden's withdrawal. And Local 10 Samir Nexi is joining us live from Miami International Airport with all of the latest. And Samir, we understand that you just spoke to Congressman Jimenez not that long ago. So now that's right. So uh, Congressman Carlos Jimenez here at MIA, he was about to catch a flight when he spoke to us. He just one of the many GOP members weighing in on President Biden's announcement that he will not, not seek re-election for this upcoming election. Now, we had a chance to speak to him, as mentioned, and he said he was not surprised by the president's announcement. Go ahead and take a listen. I'm also asking him to consider and really to, um, to um, resign, uh, resign the presidency. Uh, it's evident to the American people that the, the president, you know, President Biden doesn't have the, uh, the capability, doesn't have uh, the ability to continue to serve as president. All right, and we know uh, former President Donald Trump during this election cycle has also pointed to Biden's age, as many have, as well as potential cognitive issues. We also asked the congressman his opinion on the president's endorsement of his VP, Kamala Harris. Take a listen. If he doesn't endorse uh, Kamala Harris, it would have been a really stinging indictment on, on the vice president because there's somebody you've been working with for four, close to four years. That's the person you chose that you thought three years ago uh, would be the be person best suited if something happened to you to be president of the United States. All right, again, many GOP members weighing in. We know uh, Miami's mayor also has released a statement, as well as Senator uh, Tim Rick Scott, rather. He released a statement earlier in part that you can see on your screen right now. And it says, quote, for four years, those closest to Joe Biden, including Kamala Harris, knew he was not fit to be president and lied to the American people in an effort to hold onto their power, end quote. Back out here live, of course, uh, we've seen that statement regarding uh, Kamala Harris knowing possible issues with the president. Of course, we'll have much more on this from local GOP members coming up tonight. Until then, we're live at MIA. I'm Severe Nafsi, Local 10 News.